Hello, YouTubers, fellow hams, whoever else might be watching. Binaural recording. What is binaural recording? Well, years and years ago, I uh, discovered or ran across the idea of binaural recording, which is a technique where you place microphones approximately the same distance apart as human ears are on an average skull. In some cases, they even have Pina, the little parabolic uh, collectors that we call our ears here on the outside, which are basically just what that what I said, parabolic collectors, focusing sound more from the front um, when we're hearing. And we're predators, that makes sense. We want to, we're, we're evolutionarily, we want to hear more of what we're looking at, you know, as we're hunting prey. Um, but uh, with the microphones placed precisely apart, and usually with some kind of a mass to, like the skull, to block sound, so sounds from the left don't go directly to the right ear, but rather reflect off the environment. Um, your brain uses those slight differences in timing and the phase relationship between the audio coming in to discern where the sound is coming from, where it's coming from over there, behind you, above you. Your brain can figure that out just based on those little bit of a differences. So by putting microphones precisely that far apart, maybe even having ears or a fake skull, you're, you, you can record those nuances. And when you play that back in headphones and close your eyes, you know, if you're a person that, that relies on your hearing as much as your eyes, you know, that sees the world with your ears as well as your eyes, you'll really get a strong surround sound or 3D kind of effect from the uh, playback. I uh, bought these little microphones that I wear in my ears um, from sound professionals, and uh, I, I used those uh, quite a bit playing around with it. In fact, one time I hiked deep into the woods at Salamone Reservoir in northern Indiana at about 4 a.m. and sat down next to a small tree and sat perfectly still without turning my head, without moving, trying to breathe as, as quietly as possible for an hour and 10 minutes. And I created this, this CD of the dawn chorus, the birds singing at sunrise. Here's a little 10 second clip of that audio. Now, if you were listening to this with earbuds or with headphones on and you closed your eyes, you probably sort of started to get that 3D effect. Um, at the least, you get an incredibly expansive and broad stereo image. It's great for recording ambience. However, my neck is bad, my spine is bad. I don't think I could get away with sitting that still for that long these days. You know, it's very, it's surprisingly fatiguing. And you swallow a lot. Whether you know it or not, subconsciously, you're constantly swallowing saliva. And the in-ear microphones pick up that sound, so there's a lot of editing involved in the final recording. So I wanted to build a binaural microphone. Um, as I travel and I get to some places that are more sonically interesting, like wooded areas with birds, I want to make some more of those recordings. There are commercial products available. In fact, Newman makes the Newman Head, which is a binaural professional binaural microphone setup. But at nearly $8,000, that kind of puts it outside of my budget, you know? So I decided to build my own. And she's sitting there in the background, you can see. Uh, so let's, uh, let's go look at the, uh, at the build and what I used. Now, this is the uh, mannequin head I bought from a beauty supply thing on Amazon. Goofy looking, huh? This is like for wigs. They put wigs on here, pin them on. They do haircut training and stuff. But it is filled. It's not hollow. It feels like it's some kind of a internal spongy sort of dense foam, which is probably perfect because what I intend to do, obviously I'm going to drill holes in right in there for the ear canal. On the back, I'm going to put a 3D print a project box and cut this back here to put the box in so it'll recess into the head and then I will drill small holes back into that space that will take wires from the mic elements into the box 
and then a slightly larger hole just big enough for the mic element to snugly fit in there. And I'm going to recess it in about three quarters of an inch so there'll be about a three quarter of an inch uh, void ahead of the microphone and the reason for that is I've got these foam lavalier mic windscreens and what I intend to do is be able to take one of those and just put it in the hole to act as a windscreen for the mic and then uh, on the back will be the front of the project box here with the potentiometer to adjust the bias voltage to the mics from 3 to 9 volts um, a connector to take the line level or take the uh, mic audio out to the digital recorder and a power switch and then I'll have a 9 volt battery that will I'll either cut a rectangle here or up here to put the 9 volt battery in and have the wires come out and go into the box that way I won't have to open the box to change the battery and I think it'll just look more I don't know techy weird kinda sci-fi cool um, it's not very heavy it should sit on a tripod just fine on the bottom they have this hole which I assume that in beauty supply places they've got a a peg that they stick these on but I want to make a tripod mount adapter uh, that's going to go over this and s they'll have like four little screws that'll hold it in place and it'll have a uh, smaller hole that's the right size for the uh, the standard uh, bolt that all tripods have so I'll be able to just put this on a tripod so I need to design that plate uh, for the tripod adapter and I have to print the box I've got an experimenter box that I found on Thingiverse so today I'm getting the 3D printer out to print the box once I've got the box I can start surgery and <laughs> cut into this head drill the holes and and uh, get working on, on assembling it yeah I don't know about that I might have to do something about that it's just too uh, girly girly looking for me maybe uh, you know something like that yeah alright 3d printing is done I've got my little box which is just the right size and I put the holes in it for the stereo out jack potentiometer for adjusting gain to the or the voltage drive to the condenser mics and a power switch is going to go there and this is a tripod adapter for the mannequin head the bottom of the head has this hole so this will get screwed on right there like that and that'll give me a single hole that will go into the tripod and I have begun surgery <laughs> I got my initial cuts here. The box is going to go in this hole right here. I just need to get the foam out so I can get it down in there. And it's a dense foam in the inside, so I've started picking the foam out. I've got to just sort of whittle away at it. And this is for the 9 volt battery, which I'll also, I've also made a hole where I'll just stick the battery in like that. And then coming out of the box here, I got this little hole. There will be a 9 volt battery. Let me get this just sort of stuck in there for a moment. Yeah, I don't have enough of the foam out yet. Don't have enough of the foam out yet, but yeah, this is going to be embedded right down in there, and there'll be uh, the 9 volt battery connector will be coming out of this little hole here, so it'll just snap onto the battery. I kind of like that. Actually, that it's sticking out. I like that. I'm, <laughs> I'm digging some more foam out so the battery will go in a little bit deeper, but I kind of like the cyberpunk weird looking aesthetic of having this head with these things sticking out of them. Once I got this cavity whittled out I will take a drill and I will drill a hole in from the ear right where the uh, microphone is going to be into that cavity that the microphone's wire will go through and then I'll drill a slightly larger hole just a little bit smaller in diameter than the microphone um, the condenser mic itself. Alright it's time for the horror show I've got a drill bit that is just about a tenth of a, uh, two tenths of a millimeter. Oh, well, actually, it's probably about a millimeter smaller than the microphone element. Got these little condenser mics, and I'm going to make the ear canal. I've put a piece of tape on here because I only want to drill. Oops, I only want to drill down about that far. 
um, the microphone will sit like that and that'll leave me with about a half an inch of space for the uh, windscreen to go in. So I want to get right behind this reflective flap so this will bounce sound into the ear canal. This will funnel it in so I want to go right about there in the depression. Whoa, this is a horror show, isn't it? <laughs> and I want to angle back because we want it to mostly direct forward. So I want to angle about like that. And this will go right back towards the box. Ah! Oh, the horrors! All right. There we go. All right, now I can get the microphone elements in and run the wires back to the box. I ran into a problem with the microphones not fitting well. There was not enough foam to hold them in place. So I designed in Tinkercad this quick little ear canal. And uh, that should snap into the hole that I made in the head. See that little bump and flange? That should grip the rubber of the outside of the head and hold the mic in place. And you can see one of the microphones installed at the back there. And installed into the head, it looks pretty good. And it seems to work out pretty well. Now, the electronics. Well, I'll tell you what, I certainly wouldn't brag about this one. <laughs> it looks terrible. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. I uh, used the, com the potentiometer, the jack, and the power switch as the physical mount points to uh, get this out of the way. It's more light on the subject. Uh, to mount the components. But uh, yeah, we've got power coming in to the potentiometer. The other side of it's going through a resistor to ground, so I've got a usable range on the pot for adjusting the voltage going to the mics. Two 2.2K resistors. These are the wires coming from the mics, so they're bringing power out to the mics. And these non-polarized 4.7 microfarad capacitors then take the audio from the mic over to the output jack. Real simple circuit, really. It was just a real pain in the butt for me to solder and work on because I can't see what I'm doing but I'm done so I'm gonna close it all up put a battery on it and try it out 20 feet away at least there's a Jeep coming in to the right Way to the left. I'm going to walk straight past the head about five feet in front of it. Now I'm going to walk past the head behind it. Yeah, he might be interested in going yeah. up there and checking it out. Oh, it's oops. Ben! I've been clipping and I didn't know it. Clipping meaning overdriving it. Oh. There we go. Can you hear us? Oh, yeah. Can you hear me now? Oh, it was when somebody plops a chair down. That's a pretty harsh sound. Stereo! It's stereo. Yeah. The mics are in the ears. Oh, in the ears. Oh. Very cool. So you got the ear shape and you got the placement. And when you listen to it in headphones, it's almost like surround sound. Oh, okay. One of my today? other hobbies is astronomy. Did, did you just get a mannequin? And all of us astronomers, we all, all of amateur astronomers oh. get around the campfire and we sit there and go, All right. Bye bye. Why would any, if any life extraterrestrial life is capable of folding space and traveling interstellar distances, why would they waste their time? Yeah, exactly. We're just another primitive culture. They, they, they're, our, they're uh, anthropologists would be interested. They're anthropologists. Oh. What were you asking? Oh, did you just get a mannequin, or did you make a mold, or what did you do? It's actually a beauty supply head. It's made for like putting wigs on and, and uh, practicing haircuts and stuff. <coughs> it's uh, it's a sort of a PVC rubbery molded kind of stuff. 
and it's filled with expanding foam. So that's my uh, binaural head. I'm going to be using it, uh, as I said, to capture some ambience. As I travel and I come across acoustically interesting environments, I'm going to create uh, ambient recordings. There's, there's just not a lot of those on YouTube. Um, I've searched around for them because I really like to uh, fill the RV with birds when I take a nap, you know, or perhaps a waterfall setting or a river, um, you know, it, rainstorm. Any, any of those types of ambient uh, recordings are uh, really interesting, and you're kind of preserving the acoustic environment of a place when you make those recordings, too. So going forward, you'll probably occasionally see a binaural recording appear on the channel as I make an hour-long um, snapshot of an ambient environment with my uh, new binaural microphone head. Hmm. And I might be modifying it, too, as time goes forward. I, I think the performance is pretty good. I kind of like it so far. But I might modify it as I go forward, depending upon what I run into or, you know, different environments that I come into acoustically. So, um, the, uh, uh, there'll, there'll be a link in the uh, uh, video description to the head itself if you want to try to build one yourself. And I'll probably put those ear canal um, files up on Thingiverse uh, because they might be useful for somebody else for holding those mic elements in, in their own projects. I hope you found that interesting, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already a subscriber, click to subscribe. Join us on the Facebook channel for discussion about the videos. And if you'd like to help support this channel, please click to support me on my Patreon page.